a lot of people in India believe in the English advantage over other languages, especially our Indian languages. Speak in English! This English coaching, not a local language. According to colonized mindsets, we will be better than other countries only if we learn to speak in English. Therefore, it is a great advantage that we have acquired from the colonial masters. And I will, I will try to uh, translate myself in English to here. Well, my friends, this is a complete myth, and today I am going to demonstrate that it is a myth. Colonized as well as brainwashed individuals believe in the so-called English advantage without any statistics or analysis. Let me first provide you with the list of arguments colonized mindsets love to argue with. English is the language of science and technology. One cannot study science and technology without knowing English. English is the language of modernity. It is a global language. It's the universal language. There can be no progress without English. So basically these are the kinds of arguments we get, not only from colonized mindsets but also frequently from our so-called leaders, be it from political or economic background. Media also plays an important role by showcasing such mindsets as if that's the ultimate truth. In order to demystify the myth, allow me to just to showcase few countries who have already developed more than India and also the US in many aspects without, and I repeat, without the help of English language. At first, let's look at Japan. Japan, my dear friends, is the world's most technologically advanced nation. It has reached the pinnacle of scientific and technological superstardom. It is the world's most advanced and most high-tech society, which leads the world in many technologies and industries. And everything Japan has achieved is through their own mother tongue. All education in Japan is in Japanese medium. Now isn't it that strange? Secondly, let's talk about South Korea. It is also a high-tech society, which is one of the most technologically advanced nations in the world, having world-class science and technological industries. LG, Samsung, Hyundai, Kia Motors, etc. are few examples of their excellence. And well in Korea also, all the education is in Korean medium. Now let's just come to China. China is currently ascending to scientific and technological excellence. Chinese products and technologies are increasingly sophisticated and world class, and most scientists and engineers in China don't care to speak a word of English. Just like Japan, all education in China is in their mother tongue, that is Chinese. And yet they are excelling in supercomputing, they are excelling in artificial intelligence, they are excelling in quantum computing. They are kind of excelling in almost everything. They are about to overtake the US as the world's biggest economy and everything from the governance to the bureaucracy to the educational system is in Chinese medium. Now may I know what happened to the English advantage. Germany. Germany is Europe's science and technological powerhouse. It has historically been the most technologically and industrially advanced nation in Europe. And strangely, all education is in German medium. There's not a single word of English. Last but not least, India's favorite, Russia. Russia as a former superpower has world-class science, technology, and space industries. It has world-class scientists and some of the best physicists in the history of mankind. And in Russia too, the same trend continues. All education is in Russian medium. So what happened to the English advantage? All these countries have contributed to the discovery and the development of science and technologies, be it quantum mechanics, theory of relativity, or artificial intelligence. Their achievements without using the so-called modern and scientific language is the best example to demystify the so-called English advantage. Max Planck who is considered the father of quantum mechanics, who was a German, who was educated in his mother tongue, who did his research in German. And the same goes to Albert Einstein. Now for all the comforts and the luxuries that we are enjoying today, 
the fruits of these inventions and the discoveries such as quantum mechanics, theory of relativity, artificial intelligence. We must thank the other languages too, if we use the same logic as the colonized ones. We must thank the German as much as Italian, Italian as much as Japanese, Japanese as much as Chinese, and Chinese as much as Russian. So I hope that I have been able to put across the fact that English is no great language and not at all the language of science and technology. It is just a language that we have been conditioned to believe in. Sab kah rahe hain, humne gajab kaam kiya, karoron ka munafa har ek saam diya, phal saalon se ab dega, paldha jo lagaya hai, seva ka... Ata, I will... I will try to uh, translate myself in English to here. Haan. Haan. Pahle Hindi mein kaha rete hai. Saab kaha raha hai ki humne gajab ka kaam kiya hai. Karoro ka munafa har ek saam diya hai. Phal saalo mein ab dega. Paudha jo lagaya hai. Seva ka samarpan ka humne fajj nibhaya hai. Everybody is appreciating ki I have done a tremendous work. Each and every year, I have earned crores and crores every day, and they are saying, uh, I have, uh, Lalu Jadav has uh, planted a uh, uh, fruit tree, and every year, uh, it is duty of mine to uh, uh, grow fruit tree. Neat <laughs> neat. इसके बाद इसके बाद रेल कार कोई समस्या नहीं रहेगी